All right. Now, scatter diagrams are important because that tells us a bunch of things. One thing it will tell us, what if I, what if I had a chart that looked like this? What does that tell us? <laughs> and my pattern's pretty good <laughs> because I'm at 500 yards with a 22. <laughs> I, have to, I have to shoot and wait till the wind's blowing the right before you hit it. <laughs> All right, so if this was, let's pretend like this was cost and this was temperature outside and we're looking at gas. Does, it, does the use of gas, is there any relationship between those two numbers? There is in real life, but what does the chart tell us? The chart tells us no, there's no relationship. So if we looked at two different variables, well, let's, let's make it more reasonable then. Okay, that's cost. We're talking about cost of gasoline or cost of, ga you know, say cost of gasoline. And this is time of day. Is there any, comp should we buy gasoline at a different time of day? Well, over a period of time, we said, well, there's no correlation between those numbers because we looked at different, we, we gathered over a year, we gathered all this data, and there's no correlation. So we got to look at something else, right? Okay, now, what if we looked at speed and cost of gasoline and we started looking at something like that? What does that tell us? That's, and we're increasing in speed. Now, what do these numbers represent? Yeah, they could represent a single point. They could represent a, a hundred numbers and be averages. You know, it depends on how we use it. We could say that's the average of a hundred. And if we're looking statistically, the more numbers we get, the better, right? So if we can get a hundred points, we'd love to get a hundred points and make one single point out of it because that would give us richer numbers and it would create little, you know, little bell-shaped curves for those numbers. And another thing, there's all kinds of things we can do with this. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the way the line works. You probably did this in statistics, but you probably don't remember it. So if we look at the estimate of y, so we're going to try to estimate cost, then this is actually is a formula. And the formula looks something like this. There's the slope, and you can use, let's just use a, uh, plus b and x of i. Okay, that's a dependent variable. That's an independent variable. What's x of i represent? Just somewhere along here. Okay, if we, we go the speed, as the speed goes up, the cost goes up. That's what it tells us, right? So this is where we started. Let's say that there's never a point where gasoline or the use of gas cost us zero. So this is that point on the line, this A. Okay. And B is a slope that represents, you know, how fast we're escalating. And if we add more variables, then we start we start seeing we start this is probably more detail, but the point is, this is something you can use online to see if, if there's something that relates to something else and how it's related to what you're doing. Um, if you're, if you're, I like to show this sometimes. Usually I take a table and I, and, I, and I hold up this edge of it. I say, well, what do you see? You see a line, right? Then I tilt the table and you see the plane. Well, the more variables I add, the more three-dimensional it becomes. Okay, so if I add other variables like speed and temperature outside, and some of those are going to make a difference and some of those aren't. And so just going through that process is how you figure out which variables are important.